Hey everybody, welcome back to Lou Piro. We've defeated two of the bosses in chapter four. This is the best we've ever done. Uh, so now we're working on towards what I presume is going to be the hunter's boss, probably with stronger and or more wolves, which could be problematic. Um, I lost track of how many resurrections we have. I think we have one more. I think we have one more. I think we have one more. So hopefully we do. Um, yeah, let's rock and roll. We didn't get amazing drops from from the uh, second boss there, but we're doing okay. We need to improve our skeleton level a bit. Let's rock and roll here. Okay, so more wheat fields. This setup, I don't know. It's weird, but it it does get us it does get us a lot of food, which is what we wanted. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It seems to be fine. We still have a decent amount of the orbs of expansions coming in too. Like, I can I can make good arguments for them. Now, we have everything we have gives a plus one skeleton, except for our grimoire. So, if we want to trade off, I think I don't want to drop below five. But if we have a significant increase, then we'll probably replace some of these things. Um, we could take a little bit of evasion. Uh, our amulet, I don't think we want to change. Okay. Defense. Summon quality. Nope. I definitely want... What I want is levels. That's what I really would like. This is a bonus. This is definitely a, a big improvement to our amulet. Keeps the skeleton. Uh, we get evasion, regen, and more HP. Good win. We also, like, we have chests spawning pretty much all around this part of the loop. Yep, that's going to be a nice increase. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, some evasion here. Skeleton level. I'm tempted to take this, although we are just, just below where we want to be. So let me save that for now. This keeps skeletons. This is worse than the other rings. Oh, that's awesome. The more of these we get, the better, because this will make our food farming significantly improved. So, who knows if we get to take that or not. Because I wouldn't mind seeing what happens at the end. Like, what's the what's the chapter four boss, you know? Okay, so this is strictly better than the one that we have on the left. We do lose a skeleton, but we get the levels from it. I'm okay, I think, doing that. This is a bigger increase. Well, this is actually only a 0.6 increase as well. 0.5 increase. It's kind of the same thing as if swapping this. Um, we get a little bit more evasion. Get the levels. We're just below on levels. I think we're fine. If this had the max skeletons, I would definitely keep it, but... That's a pretty big boost in evasion. Definitely. How often are we getting to six skeletons, though? On these little fights, not so much. We're quite a ways from summoning the boss, so... Let's just take it slow. As time goes on, the uh, training dummies become a little bit scarier as well. And so by having more uh, of a skeleton level, or, or max skeletons, I should say, that's like a really good counter to that. So we make sure that we're not punching the, the dummies ourselves. So we got six summon there, although our six didn't do anything. Oh, old paintings for damage to bosses. That's good. I'm still trying to be kind of picky in what we place. Just to be 
make sure that we're only placing the highest quality versions of stuff. We will probably spam in, like, forests if we get overwhelmed, but all of this stuff, I don't know if I need to add any more enemies to this map. Thickets we definitely want to place. We can pretty much just use our battlefields to get, like, the rare items. And then the rest of stuff for XP. Maybe throw in a grove here. I don't see those presenting too many problems. So if I do a wheat field here, then I could grove here. Um, we only have, like, these blood groves right now. We're not seeing a lot of the Beyond Meat dudes. Which isn't bad. If I place one out here, it's probably okay. Place them in, like, these random spots so that we don't get too overwhelmed. If the Beyond Meat spawns. <laughs> this class, more than any other, seems to benefit from, like increasing the rarity of items. Oh, this is such a small boost. It's like really crappy, but I mean, it is a boost. Uh, so field, grove, field, house, field, grove. I guess this... Do we want these diluting these? Uh, that could get a bit weird, but might be okay. Oh, there we go. Nope. Okay, hold on. So this is skeleton level, big boost. We lose a skeleton, keep evasion, increase attack speed a little bit. Uh, we're still really close to seven. So as long as we keep close to that, I'm fine. Oh, I guess he scared off our, uh, our boss dog there. Skeleton level boost of 0.81. That's not bad. That's more bad. I haven't seen an Oblivion card for a long time, which means we're definitely going to have to deal with bandits coming up here. Okay, so this is max skeletons like we have. It's more dam or it's more HP. Uh, we lose 7% evasion and we get same regen so basically we, no <laughs> so basically no Six point six two. it says this is higher it's lying but i'll take it okay where are we here i can place these but then they become those hideous ones. There's a big heal here before the boss, which is kind of nice. Um, our HP is like fine. It's fine. What is our HP getting modified by? This is giving us the magic HP, but what's increasing our HP directly? It just went up. It, it must be... And it just went up again. Uh, it must be one of our supply items that I maybe have misunderstood how it works. Because this is nice. I just realized that that's quite good. Which means we don't necessarily need mountains. Because that's increasing. 7.19. There we go. Now we're talking. Hmm. <laughs> Still have quite a few placements before we fight the next boss. Ooh, there we go. Hey, 
Okay, so let's wait till the crow cause. And then this will probably be a spawn. do this covers those uh wheat fields as well <laughs> level 10 thank you uh, i think this is gonna spawn another one these bandits we're gonna Oblivion, the bandit camp now. Was it not spawning this? Bandits prefer villages. So I guess this is fine now because it's a count's land. It doesn't seem to be spawning in at all. Very interesting. All right. So are we at all interested in this previous gear? I don't think so. We're just below in terms of level. So let's just let her buff here. Oh, hello. This is nice. Okay, so here's... We definitely trade a skeleton for this. Now, which one do we trade? The one on the right is the one that's giving us our all of our quality. The one on the left is 9% evasion. So, let's keep some of our quality here. We also have regen. A big skeleton level boost here. At the cost of a skeleton, if we want. I definitely want to keep five skeletons. Now we have this one. I wonder if I should ransack. Wonder... Have I done this? Okay, so that doesn't do anything. If I ransack another one... It's more healing. It's kind of unnecessary. Um, I guess one of the ways to deal with the bandits is to ransack the village next to it. Eventually, I'll have to oblivion these, too. I just well put this in, and then our thing is full. Okay, these we want to continue to place. At some point, we might be more comfortable with doing, like, blood clots, but our roads are full anyway. So maybe what I do is just slam these all up here, and we get a bunch of loot. Skeleton level. Evasion, attack speed. Nope. We seem to be keeping up with the enemies just fine. Okay, so why are these guys not spawning bandits? I thought that was two days. This is a village. It's not happening. Um, Weird. Like, I'm fine with it, but weird. Right? You're weird. I'll check one more in case I'm just bad mathing this. That's a big skeleton level boost, man. It's so hard to not put that in. It's like a plus two. Then I need to find... There's a bunch of other options for getting more skeletons. I just don't want to be in a situation where I'm going into this boss with less than five skeletons. You know? I think for bosses, five is is best, if not more. Um, 
Yeah. Let's do it. We're at four skeletons, but our quality is really, or our, our skeleton level is really high right now. So we should just be punishing enemies. More oblivions. Okay. We took a little beating there on our hero. That was not great. Um, that was not great. Mostly because of the, the vampire and the swarm. So, let me ditch that. I think it's here. Okay, now it is spawning. All right, that's very strange. I thought I counted it right, but I guess not. So that's going to go. And then I think our next um our next oblivions become these these little training dummy villages. Because we've dropped in skeletons, um that means that these villages we start attacking the dummies and that hurts us quite a bit. So yeah. That's the only thing we do. We oblivion these now. And then we replace them with regular villages. See, and now we have to start attacking, which really blows. If I put a if I put a uh, battlefield in here, that spawns a chest in place of a scarecrow. Uh, but it might not even hit that, so who knows, right? I think let's go to the plan of spawning in at the beginning as many as we can. So let's say this one can go to any of these tiles. Yeah, this should be fine. Our magic HP is up pretty high, but we're still drinking that uh, those potions pretty quick here. And it doesn't look like they're doing magic damage. Yikes, dude. I'm kind of sketched out here. Six per second. Man, that might be crucial right now. Yo, careful. I have another one coming up here, but there's only one dummy, but still. Yeah, we might we might die here. I think we still have a resurrection. So there's our last resurrection. 100% that's our last res undying. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We really only need those max skeletons for that section, man. That's what we we need it though. That's the thing. That's killing us. The training dummies. I got four of them to Oblivion. I think the rest were going to be okay. We just need that one magical item to drop that's going to give us everything we need.
Uh, I think I'm going to Blood Grove this. So that these all get hit. Okay, let's see what we got. Plus 0.5 to Skeleton's level for a loop. Ah, that would be great if it was a long time ago. Loop HP after Skeleton's death. 10% of our findings. Um... I mean, this isn't that bad. Because we're still going to have to go at least four loops. At least four, minimum four loops, I think. And then we get a free level out of that. But is that enough to not have, like, the healing? We maybe need the healing because of um, the fact that we have no resurrections anymore. Now, I can spam in as many forests as I want. Because there's nowhere for those things to spawn. And if I have an Oblivion and a Village, I can replace that, which would be great. But I kind of need, like, two Oblivions to make sure they don't come in with the Bandit Camp. It's a bit of a weird situation, but... crap of prime matter okay now this is some new shit what okay smith's forge a blacksmith guild crafts armor from metal and can also craft a kind of life from armor itself removes up to two items from inventory okay adds an effect for 10 hits for an item that lowers incoming damage by 20 percent Okay. So we're fine with him using any of these, I guess. Adds an effect for 10 hits for an item that lowers incoming damage by 20%. Um, we're so close to spawning this boss, I just realized. So maybe I want to use this right before a boss. Now, this is my inventory, right? It's not my equipped stuff, I hope. And then it adds an effect. 10 hits for an item. So, 20 hits if we do two items. Uh, dropping in this, the cemetery was kind of nice. From that prime matter. Uh, but I need oblivions. That's, that's it. That's all. The next card we place will spawn the boss. Holy smokes. I'm pretty sure. Skeleton level. Uh, skeleton level and evasion. Wow. Okay. Well, we're we're going all we're all in, you guys. Like we're all in. Uh, we haven't had problems with the level three boss before, so I don't know what powers he's gonna have that make him different. But before we get there, we'll try the Smith's Forge, I guess, and uh, I don't know. Let's see what that does exactly. We'll do it after this fight, I guess. 
Oh, whoa. Okay, Jesus. I thought he was spawning, or I thought he spawned in there. Let's... Oh, oh. Adds an... Oh, what? What the frick? Oh, so you have to pass this. Oh, okay. So that's not going to do anything. So this is going to... This is going to trade stuff. Oh, I see. So this is a, an ideal spot for it. But it's not going to do anything for this fight. Uh, we don't have any resurrections. We're all in. We are all in. We could definitely make a good argument for running. But I got to learn what these bosses do anyway. So, I mean, we're all in. Let's go. Stay. All right, the hump begins. Get him. We're only at four skeletons. Am I happy with that? Do I even have another option? I wish I had more, but I can't have that. Our magic HP is almost through, but... Okay, that's good. Now we need to kill the dogs. Maybe they had other... They might have had other abilities. Not these guys. He might have. I don't know. They're hitting us pretty hard. Oh my god. Oh, 554. <laughs> Bro. Come on, dude. Oh, that sucked. That was a bit of a bummer, man. Ah. Oh. Okay, so... The difference maker here, I think, could have been... That's a really unfortunate way to go down. That's really unfortunate. Uh, yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. What do I like in this build? I like most things. I think I'm going to ditch the vampires altogether. Because they seem to cause more problems than anything. And that would mean that hopefully I could find Oblivion cards more frequently. Uh... I want to have... We definitely need to get those max skeletons up. That would have made a huge difference here. If I had six, that would have been significantly better than having our skeleton level plus two compared to here. Um, I, it's too bad we don't get that Skinner's Knife. And we don't get the... Uh, we don't get all the skulls. We get two of them. So we'll be able to do, take this next time. Maybe And maybe that's a thing too. Make sure we have four skulls. When we go in, just so that if things like this happen, we still get to keep this stuff. It's a pretty big L, but um, we did learn what this boss does. He's just, I think he's just stronger, hits harder. That 534 crit, uh, I mean, that's too bad. It was very close. It's very close. It was very close. What are you going to, what are you going to do? You know? Uh, this gives some extra item slots for our supply, which might not be bad. Mm, this gives extra healing, which might not be bad. Uses every single one of our resources, though. Um, we still have, like, the bridge thing that we could build. But I don't know that we need that. I think this is good if we're doing, like, tons and tons and tons of loops. Um, the alchemist tent I would still like to build. The warehouse, we're not even running out of space. Yeah, so I think... 5 HP. Uh, is this the one that's giving me that max HP boost? The antique wardrobe? It might be. Because the way I interpret it was healing. But then here it says plus 1% HP, but max HP is lowered. So I don't know. There's something that was increasing our HP as we went there. Man, that was not bad. Okay? That was not bad at all if i ditch the vampires is there another like safe enemy i could bring in i could probably bring in either a cemetery or the ruins just to like just to have more uh higher level gear dropping 
And maybe that's maybe that could help us. Storm Temple, maybe. Uh, maybe I bring in beacons. Maybe I just bring in regular beacons for attack speed. The thing is, I don't really want to increase movement speed so much, but the attack speed's nice. Um, this could be good just for healing. Maybe we just bring in temporal beacons, get more daily heals. Although our daily heals are small if we don't bring meadows. Uh, maybe if I had a bunch of rocks in there, like I could be a lot more tankier, right? Yeah, maybe that's... Maybe we just do that one switch. Keep the enemies the same, minus the vampires, but we bring in the rocks. I think so. Okay, I'm going to wrap that one up here, guys. Wish me luck. I'm going to try it again. Bye for now.